super yacht market's healthy, it's good. So brokerage, that's secondhand sales, are up this year compared to last year, 12%. There's been 300 sales this year on the brokerage market. Uh, the new build sector's good. There's uh, more yachts in construction now, 780 projects than uh, have been in production uh, over the last four years. So it's, it's a, it's a five-year high. Uh, so it's, the, the market's generally very good. To say that lots of clients come running to our door saying that they must have hybrid propulsion systems would be an exaggeration. To be honest, this is something that we introduced because we saw there's an opportunity in the market for clients who are interested in that and who do want that. So we responded to this by developing this hybrid system. We brought it to the market and uh, the yacht sold very quickly. Literally everything on uh, what not has been done before. So we're talking about the charter on Antarctica, going to Greenland, doing the Northwest Passage, get, uh, well, you see the helicopters on board, uh, do helicopter skiing in Greenland, and uh, the whole yacht is conceived for, uh, for the high-end charter market in cold areas. If you go to these remote areas, there's literally nothing. There's no infrastructure whatsoever. So you have to bring your own town, if you want, or your own hotel uh, to, uh, to get it all, uh, to, to, to feel comfortable and the safety and security, of course. There's certainly a movement in the industry towards uh, leaner, more efficient yachts, and that could be anything from more slippery naval architecture to hybrid propulsion, drive systems, etc. So yeah, it is, it's, it's still a fringe element, but there's definitely a movement we're seeing from super yacht owners who want to go further using less fuel and being more autonomous at sea generally. And uh, there's a lot of talk at the moment about these expedition yachts, explorer yachts.
ultra high net worth individuals are waking up to the idea that there is the opportunity for quality refit work where one can take their existing yacht um, and completely overhaul it at not a fraction of the cost but certainly a, um, a great deal less than it would cost to commission a new build. The design is all about efficiency and harmonising with the elements and uh, using uh, the two fluids, water and air, um, and computational fluid dynamics in, in the analysis of that gave us the ultimate form in terms of efficiency. And then aesthetically we looked at the curves on a female body to give her the beautiful shapes you see. It's not just about speed and efficiency. Granted, it's a very fast boat of 50 knots, and the efficiency is uh, uncomparable to conventional boats. It's just so much more efficient. It's really about the comfort at speed. In a conventional boat, you're bouncing from wave to wave. In a glider, you glide. You just go straight through the waves.